So today, now if you are planning to do business online, you know, either part-time or full-time or having a roadmap to something that you plan to have as a career in the future, now how often have you thought about going online, bringing your entrepreneurial skills uh, to the online platform? Because online is a gold mine. That's true. Now, uh, the potential as well as the future possibilities that could emerge from there. Now, to find out more about online possibilities as well as doing business online, I have with me here uh, Christy Ng, founder of Christy Ng Shoes, as well as Wei Hui Niu, director of SME Cluster and Initiative Amdec. Hello, hi, good, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having us here. Thanks oh, for having yes. us here. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Now, Christy, we know that you have been awarded Digital Malaysia Brand Ambassador. Oh yeah, that, that's correct. That's correct, right? Now, you started your business, uh, you know, designing shoes. Now, this is what, five inch wedges for women? Five inch wedges, heels and the likes. Anything skyscraping, that's right. how we started. <laughs> Anything that's skyscraping, yeah. that's tall. Which gives you that extra height. <laughs> right. Now, how did you begin? How did you put your dream, you know, on, on this journey? Um, I've always loved shoes. Oh, mm. no, I, every woman will lo love shoes. Yeah. And um, you know, I, I had all this, um, you know, I, I've always loved art and loved design. And, you know, I always wanted to start my own business. But mm -hmm. due to financial constraints, you know, the internet was was the most feasible way I could actually launch my, you know, my so-called, you know, uh, my, 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 my hobby, you know. It was the easiest way and it, has a, it had the lowest barrier entry mm. with the highest possibility of scaling up. So that's mm -hmm. how I decided to start to put my business on the internet. Okay, all right. Now, I was just wondering also, uh, we'll come back to, you know, how your concerns were because going online, you need skills, at least to be a little bit, you know, ICT savvy. Now, um, with uh, going online, taking this business there, how would you suggest that, you know, SMEs adopt this digital technology? Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, this is everything that we are doing under Digital Malaysia, mm -hmm. which is a national initiative that was launched in 2012 mm -hmm. to move the Malaysian economy uh, towards a digital economy. Mm -hmm. So what we hope in the digital economy is that the digital uh, businesses can contribute to 17% of the GDP of the country in 2020. So for our case today, uh, Christy Ng, we, we are proud to have her as mm -hmm. our ambassador mm -hmm. uh, because she is portraying a successful SME mm. in the shoe business. Mm. If you look at look at what you have in the studio is give a girl the right shoes <laughs> and she can conquer the world <laughs> just over there. Right. So um, you see, but not just shoes, shoes with ICT as a digital tools yes. okay. to reach the market. So uh, Christy Ng uh, is our ambassador because mm. she has uh, demonstrated mm. through the use of ICT, she's able to grow her business and minimize uh, the cost of, uh, you know, the barrier mm -hmm. to enter into businesses. She start from home, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so that's yeah. how she started. Mm -hmm. But she used ICT at a very low level, but now she's able to use ICT in an innovative manner to reach global market. Mm -hmm. So she will tell us more about, you know, how she, reach, uh, how she reaches the global market via ICT later on. Okay. So this is the aspiration of Digital Malaysia mm -hmm. for SMEs. Mm -hmm. Now, for people to even want to penetrate, you know, uh, the digital online platform you're saying that you know to take this further some people have the the qualms the worry because you know they might think that you know I only have this much skill this much knowledge about information technology or even my online or internet skills so to really give them the confidence what would you suggest they take Christy I think you can start small um, at the beginning is always a bit scary mm -hmm. um, I have no I had no training in programming I have no technical background per se and I sort mm. of like picked up everything along the way mm. um, you can start with a very simple um, WordPress blog mm. you know and just put a very simple shopping cart plug in tool inside uh, there are also many many um, uh, shopping carts available or th which you can just purchase with, with and they come with technical support mm. so that's a very easy way to start you, 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 there are even shopping carts which charge as low as one ringgit per day and uh, when you subscribe to their service they give you the full suite of technical support you know the hosting and everything you need to do to to get your business online all you mm. need to do is just 
focus. Mm. Yeah. So it's very easy these days. It's mm -hmm. not like before. Mm -hmm. And to reach out to more women, you know, to, to get them that confidence, uh, the platform that you are engaging also offers them the skill and the knowledge, right, Ms. Wee? Yes, we do. Uh, we call it a capacity and capability development program. Mm. So we not just excite them through our awareness program, but we reach out via digital means or even physical means through seminars and working with many partners, our technology partners, even Bank Nagara, SME Corp mm. and KPD and KK. So we work with many parties, mm. uh, be it in the government and also the technology field, to reach out to our SMEs, which forms 99% of the business entity in Malaysia. Mm. So you can imagine how big the SMEs uh, population are there in Malaysia. Mm. And we also know that only 28% of our SME in the country adopt e-commerce solution. Mm. So which means there are a lot of challenges and there are also a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. for the use of ICT to grow our SME community in the digital world mm. and thereby contribute contributing to the wealth creation, as I mentioned, in terms of GDP contribution for our SME, in terms of uh, increasing their productivity. Mm -hmm. Because with ICT, we can reduce the cost, we can also increase the revenue through expansion of market. Yes. So this is a, uh, we, we do a lot of capacity building, meaning to say we train them. Like okay. Christy say, she started with no knowledge, very little knowledge, mm -hmm. right, of ICT, how to get online. Mm -hmm. This is where we in Digital Malaysia, uh, and together with our technology partners and other ministries as well, and agencies, uh, relating to SME development to help them to come on board using ICT mm -hmm. to transform or to convert their conventional business model into digital business model mm -hmm. and that, therefore reaping the benefits of the ICT uh, tools and, and services that can help them in their businesses. Okay, all right. Now, so Christy, what kind of advice would you offer to you know women out there, entrepreneurs who are desiring to get on this platform? Perhaps doing you know uh, you know kue or even cookie ah. business to start with you know, something <laughs> small yes. before they venture big. Yeah, I think um, I think you should not hesitate. Just go all out and do it. It's it's easier than you think it is. There is very low risk. Uh, you don't need much money. You don't need much capital to start. And the rewards are endless, you know. Mm. Um, I'm very. I mean, uh, by adopting um, ICT in my business, we've we've a we've been able to sell shoes to customers all around the world. And mm. since we've started, um, we've shipped to over twenty different countries, mm. all across the world, even to countries which I never stepped foot into. So that is the power of uh, adopting ICT in your business. Right. Do you uh, advocate patience as well? I mean, how long did it take for you from your ah. first year to now to expand to over twenty countries' business? <laughs> Um, the, the first year, uh, I relied a lot on local domestic market, and that actually gave me. And when we when we started to have a lot of traction, um, then I started to you know target customers in Singapore, and then it was a lot of Australians because it started with a lot of Malaysians studying in Australia, mm. and then uh, currently our major market uh, for export is America. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Forty-five percent of our business now is export to countries like the U.S., the U.K., and Southeast Asia. Wow! Yeah, so that is our main growth driver. Of course, the domestic market helps us a lot, but uh, we need to build. We need to um, not rely on you know local yes. domestic market for your to sustain your business, but rather think of ways like using ICT to scale your business to greater heights. Mm. Yeah. So would you say that penetrate the local market first or you can actually start with boom, the international market, Ms. Wee? You can do it in parallel if oh. you are ready. Yeah, right. 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 Uh, you must have all the ICT readiness mm. in terms of your business model to reach mm. out to the global market because that's more challenging mm. compared to our local market, right? Okay. But the aspiration of Digital Malaysia is for um, uh, our SME like Christy Ng to go forward into the global market because currently what we see is a lot of Malaysians are buying from foreign side and yes. therefore there's mm. a leakage of revenue mm. uh, going out. Mm. So we hope our e-commerce players in Malaysia uh, can gather the uh, uh, more export mm. uh, in terms of uh, uh, sales mm -hmm. uh, from foreign market mm. and therefore bringing more revenue to the country. And we do have, I mean, very talented, you know, Malaysian, uh, especially also women who are good in handicraft or even yes. business ideas and take this onto the online, uh, online platform. Yes. And sadly, as you say, there's a slow and even uh, small penetration because over 650,000 people, SMEs that you have in Malaysia, only about 100,000 are into the online platform. Yes. Okay. 
So that's where we have to reach out. Mm. Uh, we have outreach program. We also have, uh, as the, what I said, the capacity and capability development program mm. for them to finally adopt ICT. So adoption could be very much in the debut area when Christy Ng started, just very low level ICT. But we want them to move up the ladder of mm. technology uh, adoption, mm. uh, to move up the maturity model where they can use ICT to be innovative, mm. to create new things, to innovate, to reach out to the market. Excellent, excellent. And we also have AMDEC now, this is under your uh, yes, collaboration Yes, Multimedia here. Development Corporation. Yes, to assist women, especially you know those who want to go into this business, SMEs online. And final words before you leave us, Ms. Wee. Go online, do business <laughs> anywhere, anytime. Yes. With ICT. With ICT, which will take you <laughs> much, much further. Okay, and Christy as well? Um, I would say... Um, Take the leap of faith. Uh, just go all out. And you have nothing to lose. Okay. Uh, you can check out Digital Malaysia for more information. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. And so we will uh, actually have those information on your screen about where to go to get more information about this collaboration. Okay. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much for having go. us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.